homicide along with an officer involved shooting over the weekend are part of what Pine Bluff police are calling a spike in violent crimes. As Fox 16 Susan L. Corey explains, neighbors say they are fed up with the violence. Now, Donna, many parents tell me they're trying to keep their kids close, especially knowing several of the recent violent crimes involve teens. It's something Pine Bluff police say can go a long way towards preventing those types of crimes. <laughs> Three grandsons on the run keep Terry Brown busy. All the time. But Brown is keeping their game to the front yard. Don't run out of the road. Rattled by the violence that happened around the corner from their Pine Bluff home. Come out and start shooting. shooting. They're shooting people. Traffic flows like usual at the intersection of 34th and Old Warren. But it's here that a shots fired call Sunday night ended with a police officer shooting at but not hitting a person across the street. Bullet, I ain't got no eye. Whatever that bullet go away, it can hit them. Pine Bluff police tell me they have noticed an increase in violence, but that doesn't necessarily mean you'll see more patrols on the street. You don't see them until they turn on the blue lights. Officer Richard Wagner says the city's violent crime task force is upping their unmarked patrols, but he says families also need to step up since the department is getting more calls of teens involved in violent crimes. The more positive role models they have in their life, the less likely they are to commit crimes. It's advice Brown doesn't need to hear twice. I don't let my kid go nowhere. If I ain't with them, they ain't going. Praying gunshots don't hit his neighborhood again. No one was injured in Sunday's officer-involved shooting. State police have taken over that investigation. So, Susan, we talked about the double homicide involving the teenagers. Did they police say anything about that today? Well, we know that third arrest was made, and police did tell me there's a minor who could be arrested, but of course, because he's a juvenile, yeah. not giving a lot of information yeah. about that. One positive, though, of course, we don't want to see any lives lost, right. but this was the eighth homicide in the city, so compared to last year, they saw 28 total. So they're saying that is at least down there. Wow, that one way is to look at it. Yeah. A bit of good news. Yeah. Just one right. silver lining there. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you, Sue.